Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Alien Protocols. You know, when you go back and look at what I like to call our channel, you'll see how stunning some of the time-stamped information that we've shared on this channel, how stunningly accurate it has been proven to be over time. And not just the predictions, stuff about the UFO programs and even specific names and what companies and, you know, numbers of craft at different locations. And, you know, now we don't sound so ridiculous, do we? We certainly don't. And there's much more about the rare work we have all done together, you and I and the people who've handed down knowledge and the universe and everything. We've done a lot of great good together. This has been such an extraordinary ride. Um, this is an old Skinwalker uh, astral that I did. It was kind of a CRV and astral at the same time. I typed around, I did a bunch of different stuff. I'm gonna show you just a little bit of the info. Um, but it has just, it was such a rich viewing. And, um, you know, I'm professional enough and you have to learn to disassociate yourself and just follow the techniques even with topics and things you have some familiarity with. But I'm gonna dive in. This was shared on, on Twitter and stuff, and you can find this on our channel here at Timestamp. But this is one of the drawings of the underground. Okay, and what, you can just read the stuff yourself and realize how cool it ended up being. Um, there is, There was at one point in the past, this is a kind of a cube slice of the ranch area. Um, pink dots of notes, the ridge. Um, and then underground, there is what I called a polymetallic um, non-earth conglomerate of metal. You could call it a meteorite, whatever you want to. When it uh, entered this area, it created fractures in the soil, which became lines that over time water has traversed. And with cracks and lines, you get insulators, conductors, insulator, conductors. You, so you have a kind of electro river, you have all sorts of different things, but there's something else that ties into this. And this is an important aspect. You know, our planet is like a bar magnet. When it's healthy, it's like, it looks like this. That's how our planet looked a thousand years ago. And as I have been uh, warning, uh, you can do the research yourself and let it, you know, judge the data yourself. Our planet has lost that healthy field. We're in the middle of a pole reversal and the field goes nuts. And our field right now is totally going nuts, but worse, the field strength is down to 35%. It looks wacky and crazy and convoluted and does not look ordered like this at all. It looks much, much worse with mini poles and anomalies and incredibly fast migration. And the most importantly, the magnetic field strength dropping dramatically. You can please go back and look at previous videos that I talk about this, um, the magnetosphere stuff. It's really, I think, the number one thing to triage because the solutions to this event protect us from a bunch of other mass uh, extinction possibilities, global mass extinction possibilities. Anyways, but this pertains deeply to what's going on here because there are lines, these are electromagnetic vectors of potential. <laughs> That's what they like to call them, but you can call them lines of force, energy, highways, whatever you'd like. And you see them on batteries and when you, you know, shake iron filings. <laughs> and so, what's been going on with the ranch stuff is, a little, is everything, as we can imagine. But also, there's a electromagnetic vector loop that goes down and into this whole basin, this whole area. You can see I put, um, there's, I call it the U, U into loop where it goes in, the negative goes in, the positive comes from out over here. Uh, or the atmosphere comes from an, uh, a higher plane. But it's definitely negative, you can check that out. So what would happen is, I would think that would drain energy, it would drain batteries, it would illuminate phenomena, it would create all sorts of different electromagnetic uh, conditions that would be very interesting. And you can be certain governments and countries that know about these loops would want to know specifically where these electromagnetic highways are. Where are there problems for communication and military? Where are there great spots? 
and you could actually do something amazing. From the atmosphere, you could release energy into this loop and do experiments on some very deadly orbital weaponry. But then everything is happening here. The most, one of the most important aspects that hasn't been uh, really researched in the way it needs to be and should be is bottom up from the phenomena and its interaction with people. And because of that, we know it all leads to slide nine and consciousness, but deeper than that, those who have a powerful control of their consciousness and subconsciousness seem to have an ability to recreate phenomena's appearances again and again. There are people who are skinwalkers. Some people claim that I am, and I do definitely can assist in producing phenomena at a pretty dependable level. And I don't think it's anything extraordinary that cannot be taught, and we've proven that. It's been taught. We can, I've taught a group of aerospace scientists at Galileo Park, and second day, I mean, people were just off the charts nailing it. The CEO off the charts, I mean, like a 12 margarita, 12 martini, two hits, I mean, two different targets in a row, just stunning, accurate. And one on the second day, which was PK, uh, bent a screwdriver. And that same location is where um, we saw Shorty. Galileo Playground, how bizarre is that? It just sounds goofy saying, but thank the Lord there's witnesses and others and it's being talked about in Congress. So guys, thank you for supporting us and being visionaries. Uh, some more videos coming up soon. I think the next one might be either a roundup of really what's going on or um, a look at a, a bunch of inventions. What do you think? Please, please, please support the channel. Um, I'm doing less outside work because uh, there's so many calls for missing people and healings and I can't accept donations on those and they don't offer really for the most part. Um, so please support what we do and stay ahead of everyone else. Much love.